Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how you can create a PDF file in ABAP and protect it with a password. So for today's example, we open the transaction AL11. Here on the application server, I have already uploaded a PDF file, myfile.pdf. And in this file, we will set a password. So first we open the transaction SM49. Here these are the external operating system commands. Here we click on create and we create a new command name. I call it today set GS PDF password. GS stands here for ghost script. This command um, we use today to set a password. So here by operating system command, I type in gs and check the box additional parameters. Then we can execute this program. We pass here the parameter minus H for the help. Click on execute and we see we have a response here. GBL ghost script and some commands. So we close this window and we go back to our code. And here we start with the declaration of a variable data LV command name type SXPG call list minus name. And here I set the value set GS PDF password. Then we call a function module sxpg command check. Here we check if we have the permission to call an operating system command. We need here only the exceptions and the two exporting parameters. Here we pass the command name variable. And here we can do exception handling, but not for this example today. So let's go on with the declaration of more variables. First, the password variable. Here I set the password, then two more variables for the file and for the output file. So for this, we open the AL11 again. Here we see the name of my file and the path. So we go back to the code and here I write the path and the name of my PDF where I want to set the password. And in the next variable, I type the path and the file name from my output file. So I type here output.pdf. Next, we define the variables for the parameters, alpha params, type sxpg call list minus parameters. So we can copy this here from here. minus parameters and then we define the internal table LT protocol type standard table of BTC XPM. This is for the execution protocol. Next we create the parameter string. So I write here LB params is and here I type minus S device is PDF write minus D compatibility level Compatibility level is 1.4 minus D patch minus D no prompt prompt PT 
minus d no pulse minus d quite and then we pass the parameter for the password first minus s owner password and don't forget the uppercase and here we paste our variable where we have set the password so the variable lv password then we need another password parameter called minus s user password and here we paste the password variable again and then we type in the parameter for the output file s minus s output file and here we paste the variable from our output file lv file out and then the source file lv file so then don't forget the space before and after the brackets so next we call another function module called sxpg command execute here we need the uh, three exporting parameters and the table for the execution protocol and the exceptions so here we pass the variable for the command name lv command name and the variable for the uh, parameter string lv params and here we type in the internal table lt protocol for the execution protocol so here we can do a simple uh, error handling so if we have an sub rc we write error and if not we write here pdf file password set So pretty print and I uh, see here a message error in formatting from line one. Okay, but there is no error in line one. So let's activate the source. One error found, okay, edit. Double click on this error and there is a error with the variables and with the bracket. So let's check this, okay, here a space is missing after the bracket so activate again and now let's run the program so we see the message pdf file password set so let's go back and open the application server refresh the directory and we see here generated output.pdf file so next let's download this pdf file to my local computer i have already written a program for this so a file is downloaded we see it here output.pdf double click on it now we see a password prompt because the pdf is password protected so let's type in here our password and we see my test pdf file with a qr code okay let's close this again 
let's delete the output PDF and now let's do some debugging so okay not this program so let's scroll down to our PDF password program and now let's check uh, if we make a uh, parameter invalid so I type here one to the PDF write parameter and I set then a breakpoint here and then let's run the program and we see if we double click here the sub RC is zero but we have an invalid parameter so let's check the execution protocol double click on LT protocol and here we see two entries we see here unknown device PDF write is unknown okay external program terminated so it's uh, the message here is wrong so for you it's always important to check the to check the LT protocol so we see here if we refresh here there is no PDF file generated so it's very important to check the execution protocol okay so let's remove the one and let's activate the program and run the program again so let's check the debugger here is null it's okay and the execution protocol is empty so everything should fine if we go on here we see pdf file password set so let's go back to the application server refresh here and we see the output.pdf file is generated again okay so yes if you like my videos subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up I'm always happy to get a few likes. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them and I also reply to them. Take care and see you in the next video.